submandibular gland, H and E staining. The submandibular gland consists of both mucus and serous secretory components, with the latter accounting for about 90% of the gland. The H and E stained specimen shows purely serous, purely mucus and seromucus secretory units, composed of a mucus tubule and a serous demilun. The latter components are very well developed and therefore distinct. The nuclei of the mucus cells are flat, located at the basement membrane, and the mucigen granules they contain make these cells appear very bright. In turn, serous cells contain a centrally located round nucleus and zymogen, which causes the granules to stain intensely. Hence, the serous elements are stained dark purple. The secretory ducts of the salivary gland are divided into intra- and interlobular ducts. The intralobular ducts include intercalated and striated ducts. An intralobular duct, which extends directly from a serous vesicle or a mucus tubule, is lined with low cubical simple epithelium. The striated flugus duct, which is long in the submandibular gland and has only a single layer of columnar cells, is another segment of the ducts. The striation in the basal part of the cells of this duct is the result of multiple invaginations of the cell membrane and the accompanying columns composed of mitochondria. The striated ducts connect and form the interlobular ducts, lined with simple columnar epithelium, the height of which increases up to pseudostratified epithelium, which is visible in the presented specimen. These ducts are surrounded by connective tissue with blood vessels. In the main duct, Wharton's duct, a two-layer columnar epithelium is seen, which passes into stratified squamous epithelium at the bottom of the oral cavity on the sublingual caruncle. 